There is a YouTube video that came out recently. It's got like 14 million views. It's like one of the top five YouTubers on the internet. And they did a, a recent interview with Palmer Lucky, great guy, fan of the merge, I hear. It was uh, talking about their Anvil drone interceptor, which is a kinetic kill. So it's a drone going after a drone. Pretty cool tech. Got, I've got to be honest, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but when they were editing the video, the way that he framed the problem, it's uh, problem framing, you know, 101 is you oversimplify why everything else won't work. And then you, you know, focus on your, your pitch, right? He said there's six ways to defend against drone attacks. They all have a major flaw. And I want to get your, your take on this because he said something to the effect of high powered microwaves are great. That thing might be effective at 2000 meters. All I have to do is go get some uh, cheap copper tape, wrap the drone in some copper tape. And now it's basically only effective at like two meters. And so the copper tape renders the entire Leonidas product useless. So I'd like to get your thoughts. Again, we're all professionals here. This is serious business and we know it's not that simple. Can you elaborate on that? Well, you know, I'm a mixed mind. At one side, I say, yeah, that's exactly how you defeat our system, China. <laughs> <laughs> China, please do that. Just please do that. <laughs> you know, maybe Palmer, maybe Palmer was uh, on a, on a uh, you know, like on a deceptive mission there where he would say, hey, just all you got to do is wrap your drones up with some copper tape and you're good to go, China. You know, and then we'll be laughing. Ha ha ha. That's what they think is going to work. Uh, you know, it's funny. I don't want to talk too much about how to defeat our system for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Um, but, you know, obviously we work in electromagnetic interference energy or electromagnetic pulses. And, you know, people study even nuclear derived EMPs that can hit the ground. And there's ways to shield against that. You know, they're called Faraday cages, for example, where you have six sides of metal around something and then that metal box grounded to earth ground. And that's a one way that you can basically get a lot of that electromagnetic interference and just shunt it to ground, basically short circuit it to ground. And so in his explanation in that video, he was indicating kind of that approach. It's like if you can take a shield and wrap the entire drone in the shield of tape, then you can ground that to some grown drone because you can't obviously get earth ground because you're up in the sky, but to drone ground and then shunt all that EMI away and it won't get into the system. Now, here's the problem with the Faraday cage. You open up one little door. Let's say you have a big room that's a Faraday cage. You open up one little door, boom, it's done. It's not a Faraday cage anymore. It does not work like a Faraday cage. So all of these drones require penetrations. They require propellers. They require engines. They require other things that protrude outside of somewhere where you could create a Faraday cage. And those holes actually are quite convenient for us because we can tune our back end, get in through one of those holes, and stay inside a lot easier. Once we're through, we get inside and stay inside. So what we found in studies, and that's not just me, uh, this is uh, O&R and a number uh, of people that have done studies, guess what, with copper tape. <laughs> so O&R has tried this exact experiment. And, uh, you know, if folks want to, if they're on the military side, they can contact O&R and get the real results of what really happens when you try to do this. Uh, but the short answer is uh, it completely doesn't work at all. It, it fails uh, mightily in doing any sort of real protection, the copper tape against our system. And in fact, by doing it in a, like a like kind of a unknowledgeable way, uh, you can make matters worse for yourself. You can actually make the system more susceptible to our type of energy and therefore be able to be affected at a further distance away. Not in all cases, like we've done our own experiments where we've done a really solid job of putting copper tape every little square millimeter on the system, and we still couldn't see any measurable difference between a drone without any copper tape on it and with copper tape. Wow. But if you're in China, do the copper tape. That'll that'll work. <laughs> 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 <laughs>